but an absolutely splendid album from beginning to end. I can't really say anything wrong about it. The only thing I would say is a slight wrong about it is the end of BS. There's this skit that they feature where it features this guy, Alpha Car, who, you know, don't really know much about him, but the only thing I knew of him prior was that he was close friends with Virgil, very connected to that whole crew of people. And um, he did actually a pretty decent interview with, um, I think I've got the podcast on Complex, they talk about trainers, and he gave some really cool insights about Virgil and their friendships, and clearly they were very close, clearly something that he was pretty still hurt up and caught up about, but it was good to hear from an actual friend of his about how Virgil was behind the scenes and how they kind of came up together. And he essentially, from all accounts, is basically a celebrity car dealer to the stars but he does it in an interesting way because he's not only you know doing the standard you know lamborghini flipping trucks and shit it's absolutely a car aficionado thing he's actually a car head he's buying stuff that's been made you know what's this is a ferrari from the 70s or 80s i don't know what years they are but loads of old and vintage um cars that obviously people that are only into cars will actually appreciate and people obviously love him for that there's oh my god is that a, is that a golf gti maybe there is a golf gti there there's one there but clearly someone's plugged into that sort of scene but it comes across pretty cool in terms of cars get it i understand the vibe but the smack talk that he's speaking on this album i just don't believe he's talking about the paris lights and about turning things on and i'm this guy like he is talking some crud some big big crowd and it just doesn't sound believable because you look at the dude and you don't think that he's on that time at all you don't you know the only lights he's turning off are his bedroom lamp light do you know what i mean you don't necessarily think he's turning off any lights off on the other for tower so i felt that little segment was a bit weird and also because drake essentially i always feel like he's somebody that feels like to me he's very anti paris fashion week i don't feel like he's one of the drippy artists that kind of runs the paris fashion week because paris fashion week kind of feels especially for menswear it feels like it's the met gala for the lads in it for the straights right <laughs> paris fashion week especially men's it's a met gala for the straight so they all run over there to put their best outfit on to get fucking sunned and embarrassed by these flipping french aristocrats and socialites and shit but they go there to get seen and be heard and whatnot and you know he's there partaking but i always felt like drake was the kind of he went against it he didn't really like to vibe with it too much i don't really think i've seen many images of drake at paris fashion week hanging out having a good time he doesn't necessarily go he tends to kind of avoid it for some reason so to have this guy who i would describe as the quintessential paris fashion week dude oh yeah this is him he was on the complex show um what's it called the complex sneaker show but to have him on this type of show or to have him on this album just felt a little bit weird to me felt a little bit cringe if i'm being completely honest i didn't like it in the slightest and i had to skip it and it kind of took me out of the zone of listening to the album. You know what I mean? It just, I didn't believe the bass in his voice when you're saying the things that he was saying. Nothing felt believable. It just felt a little bit lame. So I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of it myself. You know, and calling yourself Alpha Car as well, it's a little bit lame. I don't know if that's his actual name, who knows, but regardless. I've, I've always had a thing with people who wear car merch anyway. I feel like it's proper wild things to be walking around with car merch. It's probably just as bad as people who wear Black Sabbath t-shirts and can't name a single song or don't know who Ozzy Osbourne is. It's incredibly lame, right? Obviously, you know, selling flipping luxury French cars pays, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You get, you get booed up with a little, 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 little ting, but I always feel like people who dress, you know, in car merch, hopefully he's an actual mechanic because... Standing around in a mechanic shop with a t-shirt on, with a towel on, looking like you're working is like, oh, prime loser behavior. But yeah, I just didn't like him on the album. I didn't like, the only thing that I didn't like that really snapped me out of it. And I would rather not have him on there personally as a little skit thing. But I get it. If people did enjoy it, I get it. If you did enjoy it.